Hi everyone, my name is Deborah, and welcome to the Edit by DH. Welcome to another video. Of course, it's a Lisa launch day. Of course, it's a new launch. And of course, I come out with a new video. You guys know I'm always going to review any of Lisa Eldridge's new launches. And honestly, guys, we've been waiting a while, haven't we? Normally, I think she launches something new around Christmas. But over Christmas time, she didn't bring out any new products. It was more just like gift sets and well, gift ideas for Christmas, really. So this is her first proper launch this year and in the last few months, really. I love her teasers and it's always fun to guess what she's going to bring out. I don't know if many of you guessed correctly what she was going to bring out. When I saw the packaging or glimpses of the packaging, because it was long, I did have a feeling it was mascara or an eyeliner. I am honestly glad that she brought out both. The thing is, I love mascara and I do wear it every day. But I think if it was just a mascara launch, it would have been a bit like what what because obviously she has her eyeshadows and some eye pencils. But I love the fact that she's brought out a liquid eyeliner, which obviously creates more of a statement eye plus a mascara paired with it to really complete that eye look or statement eye look. So I'm gl really glad she brought out both. It may not seem like the most exciting launch for some of you. However, I obviously feel like the mascara and the eyeliner, they're staple products in any makeup bag. And particularly for me, I was really intrigued to see an eyeliner, a liquid eyeliner, should I say, because she already has her pencil eyeliners, because I am a liquid eyeliner wearer. I'm a fan of them. I'm a huge fan of the cat eye you guys know if you've been following me for a while it's my signature look and it's my everyday look so i i could be going to the post office and i'll still have a razor sharp eyeliner it not only gives me confidence but emphasizing my eyes is so important to me hence why an eyeliner would be my desert island product i don't know what your yours would be for me it stems from you know childhood being bullied for my eye shape, being told that I have small eyes or, you know, being made fun of. You know, kids can be really cruel, asking me why my eyes are the shape that they are. And it really gave me a complex. And it's it's scary how your experiences in childhood can form your part of your identity and follow you into your adulthood to give you complexes. So even to this day, if I don't wear eyeliner or I don't wear eye makeup, I always have this sort of like self-consciousness that my eyes look small and it's just something that can't be helped because it's like embedded in my psyche but so it's my it's my go-to and to be honest more than anything it just makes me feel really powerful it makes me feel really good and confident when I have good eye makeup on and it just makes me feel like I can look people in the eye more with more confidence etc so for me, this whole feline, cat-themed, eyeliner, eye makeup look is perfect for me. And I have obviously tried it in order to not greet you with bare eyes in the beginning of the intro. But obviously, you can continue watching to see how I applied it, what my first thoughts of it were, and my final conclusion. I will be doing a wear test at the end just to show you how it's lasted because really with eye makeup for me that's the number one thing obviously it's important that it performs well and it's a high quality beautiful product but ultimately it means nothing if it's down my cheeks or making me look like kung fu panda at the end of the day so it really needs to wear well and longevity is a huge factor for me personally i also will be doing a giveaway and again, just keep watching the video to find out more about it because I do mention it later on. But for now, enjoy the video and I would love to hear from you in the comment section down below. So I'm going to go in with a Kitten Flick liquid eyeliner first. And this is what I would normally do in my beauty routine where I go in with the eyeliner first and then the mascara. As I said earlier, eyeliner is super important to me. So this is the eyeliner. And to be honest, I'm quite surprised that it's not in the typical gold packaging because obviously her mascara is as as is most of Lisa's products. At the very least, it has a gold lid. So I am surprised about the black packaging, but maybe there's a reason for it. That is what the nib looks like. So it's quite long. It's quite thin. And Lisa did speak about the length and flexibility on her video and how it took quite a long time to decide that and do sort of lots of tests on it which i am not surprised about because 
the nib is so, so, so important with especially a liquid eyeliner. So I'm going to give you a little bit of information about it before I go into applying it and showing you guys. So it comes in just black and you know, that's something that I do hope she adds to in the future. I know it's better to start with one color. So black is an obvious staple color, but I ch generally tend to prefer like a dark brown, but I do agree that black is more defining and is more of a statement eyeliner look. So it has a silky matte finish. It says a precision liquid eyeliner with an ultra fine calligraphy style felt nib designed for the utmost ease and control, the most effortless, easy to use eyeliner. Intense pure black pigment glides onto the lid, allowing for perfect, even skip free lines. The perfect flexibility and length of the precision nib has been designed by Lisa for effortless control, allowing you to create that fine tapered out flick that characterizes Lisa's signature kitten eye. 24 hour wear, budge proof, smudge proof. Let's hope this holds true to that promise this time. So I am just going to apply it now, obviously, you guys know for different shaped eyes, there are different tips and tricks for eyeliners. If you have a similar eye to me, you can mirror what I do. I tend to keep it really thin along the lash line, and then I always do a cat eye. I always love liquid eyeliners over any, anything else for this sort of cat eye because it's very precise. It allows for that precision of application, and it gives you that more kind of cut sharp fierce finish so as per usual i always have my trusty muji thin cotton buds handy just in case i really love this for cleaning up lines should i need to so let me just do a thin line first on my right eye so i don't know if you guys can see how thin that line is versus here Lisa wasn't joking when she said it was a very thin nib and actually it's great for precision in that regard. I can feel that it's wet and wet enough where it glides on with ease, but not so wet that I feel like if I open my eyes, it's going to smudge instantly onto my crease. And then I'm going to now go in and do the other eye because I like to sort of mirror what I'm doing on each eye before I go and do one full eyeliner, if that makes sense. I just sort of like to even it out. Right now, it's not so important. And to be honest, this is the easiest part because you really just lean the brush on your upper eyelid, eyelashes and just allow that to be your guide to do that bit of the eyeliner. So it's pretty easy. The flick is the hardest part, but it's the flick that I really love doing because I feel like that completes the eye look. So even now, you could complete the eye look. And can you see it's already given a bit of definition? But I then like to go in and create a line. By just following, imagine following the lower lash line in a straight line, if that makes sense, at that angle. And that's generally my guide. So I'm pretty happy with that flick. It can be very easy to get bogged into the mirror when you're doing your eyeliner or any eye look and just really look close into the mirror. But a, a good tip is to just sort of come back look at both eyes in the wider mirror rather than a hand mirror and then you can kind of see like how symmetrical your eyes are looking so now i'm going to go in with the other eye and again i'm just going to try and draw an angle following the the lower lash line now it's pretty equal this one's slightly longer so i'm just going to even it out So if you can see my crease, my eyelid crease, I tend to go just slightly beyond it. If you want a more subtle flick, you can make it even smaller, the angle, but I like to go just slightly beyond that line and use that as a guide. Obviously your crease and my crease are going to be different. I know some people have much bigger creases. I know some people are monolid. So it really depends also on your preference and your eye shape. Then after I'm happy with both angles of the liner, as you can see, I then join it up. So now I've got sort of this wide V, I like to just join it up. So Do 
this is a bit where you don't breathe. I literally hold my breath. Then after I've done that, I sort of tend to do this weird eye thing. I look at my lid with a handheld mirror looking down because then it enables me to see how even my eyelids are. If I need to, I'll go in and just slightly fill out any gaps. And I'm pretty happy that I didn't have to go in with a cotton bud. I would highly recommend using this sort of cotton bud trick. Trust me, it's great for people who aren't confident with doing their liners or are beginners with eyeliners. And I know liquid eyeliners aren't the easiest tools to work with. So what I would just suggest is getting a little bit of water, a little bit of micellar water, not nothing oily, and just wetting the, the nib. And I always do a trick where I just remove the residue water on the back of my hand. Otherwise, it might be too wet and then just mess up the eyeliner completely. So it's literally just slightly damp, imagine. And especially the nib, the, the pointy bit of the bud is the most important bit. And then what you would do is just use your handheld mirror and just go underneath and just wipe at an angle. And it just helps to create this really beautiful straight line. And if you're that person that likes to normally apply your concealer before your eyeliner. I generally apply my liner before my concealer. For the sake of this video, I've done it the other way. But if you're that person that likes to, that applies, has already applied your face and then you do your eyes and then you wipe it away and you see like a gap or your skin underneath showing, you can just go back in with the foundation or concealer and with a small brush and, and just fill in the gaps, so to speak. But that is generally a really good trick, that one that I've recommended for a long 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 time especially if you've been following me on my videos for a while you'll know so yeah when i now open my eyes and look straight ahead i am very very happy with this cat eyeliner or cat flick and this is something that i would do all the time this is my go-to eye if i'm going out for the evening i might make it slightly thicker nothing too dramatic just to make it a little bit more fierce for the night or an evening look especially if i'm pairing it with a smoky eye i can really amp up that eyeliner but for the day and day-to-day -day look this is perfect for me it does claim to be 24 hour wear smudge proof transfer proof i really really hope that that's the case because if it is this eyeliner will quickly become my favorite liquid eyeliner. I'm not kidding you. And I just love how thin the nib was, just how precise and easy it was to use. Lisa herself did say that she is not the greatest at applying eyeliner on her own eyes, which I found so surprising. I mean, I get it. Like she does probably tend to apply makeup on other people more than she does to herself. And perhaps that's why she finds it more comfortable to apply liner to somebody else. But I, I'm the opposite. I find it easier to apply liner on my own eyes versus somebody else's eyes. And especially because there's so many different, different types and shapes of eyes. And also people have their own preferences. And then there's so many different types of liners, etc. So I personally am comfortable with doing my own eyeliner. And I am really pleased with this particular product. Now I'm just going to obviously complete it with the mascara. So the mascara is the Kitten Lash Mascara and it says it's a lifting, defining mascara for fluffy, fanned out lashes. Kitten Lash Mascara features a truly feather-like formula delivering weightless, soft and bouncy lashes. Smoothing, coating and stretching each lash, the formula allows you to build your look from finely defined to naturally full and fluffy depending on your desired result long wear smudge proof and water resistant so it's not waterproof it's water resistant the micro bristles leave no lash behind even the baby lashes defining and separating each from root to tip designed to hug the lash line the curved applicator effortlessly lifts the contour of all eye shapes allowing access right at the root of the lash to instantly densify the look of lashes Okay, so here on the website, it says easy to remove. Kitten lashes, incredibly easy to remove using either your favorite micellar water, eye makeup remover, or my skin enhancing treatment cleanser. And it says, make sure you hear the click when closing your mascara. It's made so it will stay fresh for longer. It does contain organic olive tree derived wax, which conditions and helps promote healthy lash growth. Carnauba wax, which holds the lash curl for a lifted shape that lasts and jojoba which softens and nourishes the lash. As always, I recommend that you do look on the website for the full list of ingredients. So what I decided to do was do one eye with just the mascara on its own and then the other eye using a lash curler. 
So for my right eye, I will just use the mascara as it is. Mascara is always better or more perfect, should I say, when it's been used for a bit or worn for a bit. So this is a brand new fresh mascara. So just keep that in mind. So this is the wand. And as you can see, it's got those tiny bristles. But Lisa did say that it's got different shaped bristles to help enhance the lashes it's got what she calls the convex and the concave shape so one side is like this or you can use it like this interestingly she uses it like this into her root or lash line whereas i tend to use it like this so again it's completely up to you we, we all have different styles and sort of know what works for our own eye shape and eyelashes i tend to go in like this like i said so that it hugs my lashes. I feel like Asian lashes are known to be like not quite the best. Mine aren't as straight as a lot of other Asian women's. I have a nice natural curl to mine. However, they are very thin. So definitely I need the help of a mascara. Because Lisa said that it doesn't get crusty and it's quite soft and flexible and lightweight. It seems like you can do like lots of light layers without it getting crunchy and it's definitely true because other mascaras if i'd applied this many layers by now it would start to get really clumpy but this mascara isn't doing that so that's what the mascara looks like without any kind of lash curler and i'm quite happy with that it performs as well as any good mascara that I've used I'd be interested to see how it lasts and whether you know when throughout the day my eyelids get oilier whether there's any transfer from the mascara to my lid because I've only got Lisa's eyeliner and mascara on I'll be really intrigued to see how it lasts I haven't used a primer however technically both are claiming to be you know transfer proof smudge proof etc so I shouldn't technically have to use a primer I have however powdered lightly powdered my lid before applying these both these products so that should help in terms of longevity now i'm going to go in with the lash curler on my left eye and then hopefully we'll see even more of a dramatic difference i don't normally use a lash curler but i like to use it on some occasions if i want a little bit more va va voom and again i'll go in with the mascara I feel like that definitely helped, don't you guys agree? I don't know if you can see the difference, but that is with the eyelash curler and that's without. With, without. Now, if you ever get a little bit of mascara on your lid, I see and have seen clients in the past use their fingers and just go in and rub it. And a part of my soul dies when I see that. <laughs> I just feel like you're squishing your lashes and undoing all the work that you had just done to lift your lashes. And it's sort of like, makes them clump as well if your lashes are still wet so instead of going in with your finger go in with the same brush and go in from the top so that you don't actually have contact with your lashes and just gently wipe your lid obviously that's not going to work if you have eyeshadow but it's a good tip if you don't if you're not wearing anything on your lid then without dipping in again i'm going to go fan my lower lashes Normally, I wouldn't do my lower lashes unless, again, I'm wearing a smoky eye and I have some eyeshadow or eyeliner on my lower lid. But I'm going to go in because I just want to show you guys and see for myself what it looks like. There is no way you can do the lower lash without doing the ugly mouth open thing. Sorry. So I've just done a little bit. I don't want anything too dramatic. And it's just nicely kind of emphasised my lower lashes without looking too spidery or clumpy or anything like that. And it does feel lightweight. That's something that Lisa emphasised when she did her demonstration. And I definitely can't feel anything on my eyes. I really like this sort of soft fluttery and it definitely has that fluttery effect. So the description is pretty accurate. I do love this soft flattery lash, but I am really curious to see whether this mascara can build up. Now, both my eye and, and eyes and lashes have had time for it to sort of dry and settle down. So I kind of want to apply a new layer on top to just see how much more dramatic it can get. So I'll go in back in with my right eye first. So yeah, that's definitely buildable, as you can hopefully see. Yeah, it's definitely buildable. You can see the difference, guys. 
it's more va va boom right honestly if this mascara and liner do not smudge i would be super impressed and they would definitely be tools that i'd be reaching for every day and just loving life with um i've spoken earlier about the importance of my eyes and what it means to me and just the confidence it can give so i'm really really impressed i definitely will do a check-in like i promised just to show you how well it's lasted i will obviously give you my final proper thoughts then but for now, I am really impressed. I really love both items. I feel like there's no crunchiness, which I normally hate. The, it feels like there's nothing on my eyes. For me, it's always the longevity that is an issue with any eye product. So I will check back in and let you know how I get on. But in the meantime, guys, I'd love to know what you guys think of the product, what you think of the launch, what you think of how it's performed on my eyes, what you think of the launch in general. Have you tried it? Have you got it? What do you think on your eyes? And yeah, any comments, I always, always love to hear from you guys. And more importantly, before I go and do my final check-in, listen, it wouldn't be a Lisa Eldridge review if there wasn't a giveaway. I know it's been a while since I've done a giveaway. To be honest, it's a while since I've done content. And I decided that I would give a lucky winner the mascara and eyeliners. I would love to give this away to one lucky winner. Again, please just keep an eye on my Instagram post. If you're not following me, now would be a good time to follow me. All my details and the handle is on the screen right now. If you keep an eye out, I will include all the information on how to enter the giveaway, dates, all the important things, all the important things that you need to know. But honestly, um, I am so happy with it so far and I will do a check-in with you guys very soon. Hi guys, so it's the end of the night or almost end of the night. Sorry about this ungodly close-up, but I just wanted to show you how my eyes have lasted. So, in honesty, I didn't apply the makeup first thing in the morning. It was more like afternoon time. So it's not been a complete full day. However, it's long enough to get an idea of how it lasts and the longevity. Um, there is a little bit of smudging, but I wonder if it's also because of um, me applying the mascara on my lower lashes, which I normally wouldn't do. Generally, I think it's held up quite well. This sort of level of slight smudging doesn't concern me. And I'm still really pleased with the way that the eyeliner looks and how my lashes have held up. So I'm just going to continue actually wearing it every day and then if there's any major difference or something to report then I will definitely feedback but I hope that you found this helpful please do comment down below and thank you so much for watching take care